As a mom, when it comes to myself, I'm on a budget. I'm reasonable. When it comes to Carter, just take my money. Take all of my money. That's how it is for me as a mom. I don't know if you guys are the same, but I will tell you through Carter's first year of life, I mean, I have bought some things. I've bought way more than I've needed. So I'm hoping today that I can share with you guys what I have got the most value from, what we both loved the most, and some of the things that I just don't love or I don't find worth the money. I have done a newborn essentials video as well as a blog post for zero to six month products. I will leave those both linked down below, check those out. But for now, we're gonna dive into it. There is so much to cover. So we'll start with the first thing I wanna share. It is this book, Brain Rules for Baby. I've shared this before, but I'm gonna share it again. This is one of the things I am the most passionate about. This book applies from pregnancy all the way to age five. So if you have a child anywhere in that range, read this book. I have read this book over five times. I have it in my car on Audible. I've made Ryan listen to it because Lord knows he's not gonna read a book. The reason I'm so passionate about this is at age one, I can already tell the tips and things I have implemented from this are paying off big time. And specifically, the biggest tip I got from this book is the importance of speaking to your child. I talk to Carter 20,000 words a day, and I know that might sound like a lot, it might sound ridiculous, but there is research that shows the number and diversity of words that your child hears from age zero to three directly impacts their IQ later in life. So it is worth your time to be talking to your child. And Carter now at age one, his language is taking off. It's incredible. He's learning two to three new words a day. And I fully attribute it to this book and the things I have learned in this book. These cards, their first word cards, they have them in a bunch of different types. And I like these because they're a little bit more interactive. They're all tactile cards. So it has the word and then, you know, you can pet the dog. It makes it more fun for him. And they're cheap. They're like $6 for a box. So I have a few of these and I will continue to get more. Next for feeding related products. This is my favorite bib and I have tried a lot. This one I like because it has the best of both worlds. So it has the silicone bottom with the catcher. So if the food falls, it will go in here and he can continue eating it but it also has the softer top to it. So it's not as bulky and you can roll it up if you're going out to a restaurant or going out somewhere. For sippy cups, oh my goodness, have I tried a lot of sippy cups. And at this point, our favorite one are these type. They're the 360 degree lid. It doesn't even look like a sippy cup, but you actually can drink from any part of the lid. I like it because it teaches them how to drink from a cup, it is spill proof, it is easy to clean, and these are just his favorite. I will be talking about in the worst products, some that didn't work. Next thing I hate to bring up because it is a little bit pricey, but I have to say it is in my top three baby products, and that is the Baby Bjorn High Chair. This was recommended to me by a subscriber of mine. She emailed me and was like, Brittany, you need this high chair. She listed a bunch of reasons, and I was like, oh, it's a little bit expensive, but. So this high chair is small, compact. It's not gonna take up a lot of space. This is great if you are in a smaller space, an apartment. It has no fabric, no nooks and crannies. It is the easiest thing in the world to clean. But the number one reason why this high chair is the best and no other high chairs I've seen have this feature is the tray is contoured to his body. So that keeps him propped up so he's not slouching down in the chair. But the biggest benefit is because it's contoured to his body, his food as he's eating doesn't get down all over him. One of, if not the best thing I've done as a mom was sleep training. And I implemented this when Carter was seven months old and this is what changed everything for me. This is where I went from surviving as a mom to thriving as a mom. And that's because once Carter got on a schedule and sleeping through the night and sleeping well, that was amazing, not just for him because he was well rested, so he was less fussy, but for me, it gave me some sense of structure to my day. I was able to get sleep, which is amazing. So I highly recommend sleep training. I will link down below a book that will go into it in more detail. But along with sleep training, there are a few things you need. One are blackout curtains. I found mine on Amazon. The other thing is a sleep suit. This is my favorite one. Carter uses this now as a sleep association. Once I put him in this, he knows it is time for sleep. And third is something called the hatch baby. So this is a special sound machine that you can control with your phone using an app. 
And beyond just being a sound machine, you can program it. So now that Carter has a schedule, I have his entire schedule. So his pre-nap wind down, it starts to play lullabies. And then when it's his time to nap, it plays uh, rain sound really loudly with a red light and then when it's time for him to wake up it plays birds chirping and the light gets brighter and it turns white and it wakes him up. This is what I've been buying my friends as baby shower gifts because it's something a little different. Not everyone has heard about it and it is just amazing. So if you've seen my newborn essentials video you will know that I have an affinity for zipper clothing that only grew as Carter grew because starting at around like six seven months he refused to let me dress him he would wiggle away like his life depended on it so with the zipper clothes you can get him in and out a lot faster than dealing with buttons and things like that so in terms of zipper clothing these are my favorite i found them on amazon they're rompers so they're short sleeve and short so this is great for the spring and summer coming up it's all just one zipper and I had probably like 10 of these. Beyond that, now that he's a little bit older and he lets me dress him, he wears mostly Cat and Jack brand clothing from Target. It's just really well priced. They have cute stuff. For sanitizing, I absolutely love these Baby Gannix alcohol-free sanitizing wipes. The reason I love these is that they are natural and essential oil based. And so if you're cleaning off a toy or you're cleaning off his hands and then that goes directly into his mouth, you don't have to worry about him getting any dangerous chemicals for body care products, my Vassour Beauty body oil, this stuff is the best. I swear to you guys, I'm not just saying it because I helped develop it. This has Camilla oil as its main oil, which is one of the most effective antioxidant rich oils in the world. Tatcha Skincare charges $90 per ounce of this particular oil. This one does have other oils in it, but mostly it is Camilla oil. It is just amazing for the skin. I use this on him every single day. He has not had any issues with eczema or dry skin. So I just love this. Even for myself, I bathe in this. I recently got a clip-on high chair. It is in the back of Ryan's car right now, so I can't show it, but I will insert a picture and a clip for you guys. But I love having this. It folds up really compact. We keep it in our car. So if we go out to restaurants or friends' houses, you just clamp it on, you can put him in there. This next one is actually for moms, but it is something that I use every single day, so I had to mention. It is this Orgain protein bar. I needed more calories, you're busy, you don't always have time to cook, so I always have these in my bag with me. They're 10 grams of protein and they are also vegan, soy-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO. So if your baby has any sensitivities like Carter did, I was still able to eat these and they taste pretty darn good. And last for the products that I love, this would probably be in my top three as well. It is a pricier product, but I strongly feel it is worth the money and that is the Upa Baby Cruise stroller. I know a thing or two about strollers because I had to go through a few before I found my dream stroller. It is lightweight enough for me to easily be able to put it in and out of the car. It folds up in one piece so I don't have to worry about removing pieces before folding it up in the car. This stroller steers like a dream. You can steer it with just one hand. It has the big basket on the bottom, which is something I didn't know I needed until I became a mom. And let me tell you, that basket is key. Also as an add-on accessory, you can put this snack tray that comes with it. And that buys me so much more time when we're out. I just put his little puffs in his snack tray. It keeps him occupied. So I just love this stroller. You may notice that I didn't really mention any toys and that's because starting at around seven months old, he had no interest in toys. He pretty much likes anything in the entire world that's not a toy. The few exceptions to that would be his stand to learn walker, which he's loved since he was like four months old. He's not been sick of that. His other stand to learn play center, he still really likes that. And then his outdoor splash table, which he got for his birthday. He is just completely enamored with that. Beyond that, there have been toys that he's been interested in for you know a couple days or maybe a week, but nothing that's really stuck. Now let's get to the juicy stuff, what I did not like. So one thing I will say, I just wasn't a fan of, I don't think it's worth the money, and that is this shopping cart cover. When I first started taking him out in the shopping cart, you know, I'm a first time mom, I'm paranoid about germs. But what I've learned over time is I just don't have time to put this on the shopping cart every time. I'm holding him, he's wiggling around, I'm trying to fit this on the cart. It just didn't become useful after a while. And it doesn't fit on all shopping carts, it doesn't fit in the ones in Target, so it would be coming off. So what I prefer to do personally is just use the sanitizing wipes 
I sanitize the cart or I keep them in the stroller and I use the basket as the cart. That's my personal opinion. I don't think these are bad. I just personally don't feel like it's worth the money. Like I mentioned, we tried a lot of sippy cups before we found those 360 degree sippy cups. That's what they're called. And one of them that just didn't work out for us. And this one is popular. It's like the Philips Advent sippy cup. It has so many little grooves and nooks and crannies that even myself, someone who was taking a lot of time to clean this, I would find like little spots of mold in it and I just had a hard time cleaning it. So I eventually ended up tossing these. They didn't work out. But I would say if you are only giving your baby water, these are fantastic. He does like drinking from the straw, but I do overall prefer the others. Another thing I just did not like, they're super trendy right now. I just not a fan. It is teething necklaces. So some of the problems I have with that He's chewing on the teething necklace and then I'm wearing it. So that slobber and all that gets all over me, which I don't like. But the worst part about it for me is that it's teaching him that necklaces and jewelry are toys and things for him to play with. And so the problem that resulted from that is now whenever I wear a necklace or anyone wears a necklace, he grabs it and tries to eat it. One of my top worst baby products was the Juvi Spoon Walker. Carter just hated this thing. It was hard to steer. And if you do want to buy a walker, there are really good ones out there. And they're a lot less than $90. Probably my number one worst baby product is the Evenflow Stroller. Looks really nice. It looks like a similar design to some of the higher end strollers. But I did notice there was either five star reviews or one star reviews. But I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll be one of those five star reviews and it will work out for me. So I got the stroller, I think I even showed it in a vlog and I did really like it for the first week or two. Then what happened was we were out and about in Target and the front wheels just locked up out of nowhere. And it was super awkward because I had to like drag the stroller out of the store. It wouldn't move or turn and I could not fix it. It's not fixable. And that's what all of the one star reviews said, I just didn't listen to him. I've been recording for 45 minutes. I want this video to be under 15 minutes, so may have to cut some things out, but I am going to cut myself off there. If you guys did find this useful, if you want to see me do more mom related videos, then let me know by giving this a thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments, what are your top baby products? What else do I need to look into? I would love to hear from you. And with all of that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Sunday with a new video. Bye.